Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Little Bay. Thank you for stopping by the collection room. Uh, this morning we're taking a look at some comics. It is a lovely morning as well. A uh, beautiful Saturday morning. And I'm taking a look at Judge Dredd uh, number 22 and 21, I guess. And this is from Quality Comics. And I wasn't really aware that Quality Comics made Judge Dredd or printed them at any time. Um, I know that Eagle Comics did and... I even have a few issues of Judge Dredd made by DC, which I can't imagine being any good, but uh, I haven't read them or looked through them. But this one is from Quality Comics. Quality Comics is not really known for uh, big book names or, or high class books. So uh, to see a recognizable character like, like Judge Dredd in there, I was a little surprised. Um, this is, we need a year to put this into context for us. I'm looking all over in here. Why can I not find it? Oh well, I don't see it. Well, I guess if you guys see a date on there somewhere, I don't. Anyway, um, cover price is buck fifty, so I'm guessing sometime in the '80s. Um, I like the coloring already. Uh, this looks like similar coloring I see to a lot of quality comics. I liked their coloring jobs that they did. And even though I really enjoyed uh, the Dread movie, uh, not the one with uh, not the one with Sylvester Stallone, but the the other one, the good one, um, I can't say as I've read much of his books. All right, that's pretty cool. Whole page of graffiti. Looks like a bunch of delinquents. And there are rattle can and stuff all over the place. Um, I feel Judge Dredd's uh, extreme prejudice towards this. And uh, I actually work for a city. I clean up a lot of uh, really obscene graffiti. So yeah, the fact that uh, Judge Dredd is gonna hunt down these guys, I'm down with that. I couldn't believe the amount of graffiti that people spray every single day in a small town in New Mexico. But anyway, um, the art and the feel of the book is kind of weird. It definitely has a, a strange futuristic vibe to it, even though this, you can tell this book is old. It still has this, this retro future look to it. Conan. Kind of a whitewashed dystopian type feel. Um, a lot of small square panels, which isn't my favorite. I like a little bit larger stuff, bigger flashier pages. But still, it's interesting. It's also interesting that it's two books, but it's not very, it's not like extra thick, really. It feels pretty normal to me. Um, next up, I, I've had a lot of people recommend this book to me, New Wave, and I have a few issues of it. I've heard of it, just FYI, but I, as far as like the whole series, I do not have it. I do keep looking. Um, if I ever see a good, good price on them, I will, I will grab them. But I'm not like actively hunting them down, and maybe I should. But as for now, I, I haven't really been. So just whenever I see one or one comes across my path, garage sale or a flea market or something, I'll probably snag it. Lions and tigers. And a blue guy. Feel of the book looks good. Circus stuff, clown car. Can't tell it. I mean, as good as it looks, feels a little bland. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out why. You know, sometimes you just pick up a book and you're like, mm, what is it about this that's kind of meh? And, you know, sometimes it's the art and sometimes it's the color and you can tell, like they would have been better off black and white. And sometimes it's just an undefinable meh quality that I can't really pick up. I kind of got that off that. I was just like, 
is this okay? Probably. I'm not like really, really amped up for it. Um, next up we have Sable number eight. This is another Eclipse. Um, I think that the rest of these are all Eclipse. I, I do love Eclipse comics. However, I was going to say sometimes they do have the meh factor uh, going on. And I am not very familiar with Saber at all. I see them a lot, of course, because, I mean, I'm always digging for Eclipse comics or First comics or AC comics. These are the stuff that I look for when I'm, um, whenever I'm looking, you know, Eternity books, things like that. That's what I'm wanting. But, so you see a lot of Saber, you see a lot of Scout. What I can't say is I'm very familiar with them at all. They're not ones that I normally grab. And I'm feeling like kind of has that meh vibe to it. And I, I, that's just cursory look at it, like saying it. I haven't read it. Okay, that is exciting. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand that a big a big wow factor. They are riding some sort of uh, butterfly, a giant butterfly with the snake head. It looks like that that is a, that alone is uh, worth flipping the book open for. Surprise me with something. Give me something I haven't seen. And you know what? Riding that. I haven't seen that. Otherwise, it looks like a shootout in a small room that I, with no background between a couple people. It's hard to really, hard to really grasp a lot of plot from that. There's always a first time for everything. Looks like a little story in the back here that I'm only getting the second part of. It looks like it's probably more interesting than the book that it's printed in. The art looks a little, well, the art looks fine. The coloring is a little washed out. I'm not a fan of the washed out, muted tone comic books. Either make it colorful or make it black and white. Um, this is a little too uh, DC Vertigo looking for me. And I was never a fan of DC Vertigo just because they all looked like that. They all, to me, looked kind of washed out and bleh. Unique, coming from Eclipse. Not familiar with that one. Scout, I'm gonna already give him some sort of a thumbs up just for this giant monster truck that they decided to put on the front of there. This is Scout number nine, um, special issue, July 1986, Badge of the Bone. I have seen a lot of these. I have not read any of them. I flipped through them. Sometimes, you know, I'm flipping along and I'll just stop and read a couple lines. It's kind of hard not to, but it is looks for dead space. So I can't read and talk at the same time. <laughs> My fifth wife always used to say that you could tell all there was to know about a man by looking at his eyes. You got a killer's eye, Scout. But they ain't evil. Well, interesting story right there. Looks like a Native American dude. Uh, tearing, tearing stuff up with a bunch of rowdy rednecks. I could see this book be interesting. Plus, just look at this panel. Look at the way they drew that. That lighting, that coloring. That is, that's nice. That looks very good. Just thought I ought to point that out. The first adventure has ended. The saga begins. Lock and load. And you get a heap story in the back. Oh, I love the heap. Like he's before man thing and he's before swamp thing. The heap, the heap is awesome. Look at him, look at the heap. Appreciate the heap. Awesome. Even man with a wolf hat. Pages tore right there, makes it bad. And it's Carrie Fisher. 
Not really, but it sure looks like her. Scout and his whatchamacallit, fifth wife buddy. All right, well, that's a little walk through the park of Eclipse. Um, I would say Scout probably looks like one of the more interesting ones to read. The Judge Dredd, I could probably give a nice read. Um, the only one that I really felt kind of was kind of blah was that uh, that New Wave book just didn't look that interesting to me. Everything else wasn't too bad, I'm going to say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's my story. If you're a big fan of any of these comics, let me know and let me know why. Um, if there's certain stories or certain issues that I need to read to appreciate them or look at to appreciate them, let me know in the comments and I will catch you guys later. Bye.